Good day everyone. Today is 2.17 p.m. 17 January Wednesday. We have a disclosure here. Uh, a little chop market today and um, a lot of um, the trades has not closed yet and um, and uh, the uh, amazing the YM today it is has not closed yet most of the Nasdaq has closed but then the YM and the ES they still going up for the traders they try and uh, manually reverse the market today they miscalculated the trend is extremely strong and uh, the market is keep climbing and climbing we have not closed a lot of position yet as you see from the controller there there is still a lot of uh, opening position <coughs> excuse me and they're all of them over 1000 if we look at the ym the 244 ticks we had the trade around 1212 12. on the last trade on the ym 288 ticks is around 1215 and then we have 1145 you can see all of them in around this area all of them around that hour and now there is an 1800 dollars on the five minutes folks things never can go wrong with one minute three minutes and five minutes if you have a good system the one minute three minutes and five minutes can identify the really true trend of course uh ticks are nice and the range are nice and the rest is garbage the first priority for me personally is the one minute three minutes and five minutes and if you want to trade manually you have to put the chart for one minute three minutes five minutes and 15 minutes to identify the trend if you want to trade manually for whatever system you have then uh, my favorite ones uh, the second one are the ticks and then the range which a lot of traders that like the range because you can gain one take on the entry that's very fine but my priority is minutes and that's why you don't see too many auto trades on one minutes because they fail anyway the ym three minutes we had the trade around 10 24 as you notice the ym all of them around one hour within that hour the breakout has happened if we're looking at the es also around 11.05 and uh, we still on one trade on the ES and this is a really amazing if you think how much uh, your your broker is charging you for 2YM is it 300 500 600 700 dollars for 2YM okay 600 dollars for 2YM the risk the reward is amazing if this market moving you will be catching the trend as we said yesterday if this market moving we are making money if this market not moving welcome to trading there is nothing we can do to make this market move because you have no inventory we cannot move the market we just basically renting the ym and then giving it back at the end of the day so we have no inventory to move that market with the respect to any auto trade even ours or somebody else auto trade by by having an auto trade does not mean you are moving the market you know so if this market moving we're making it if this market is not moving you cannot blame anyone but the market because it's not moving so on the on that trade here on the uh, how much it cost one contract or two contract on the es by your broker 600 this is one trade and we still climbing on that one trade and that trade was 11.5 it's a very simple how you can uh, close position I will show you it is a uh, very easy uh, to close a position if we take the the DAX or any given market if you are happy for the result and you you don't want to go back to trading you can click close and then the market close right there you just one click away and you can close the auto trade now if you started your auto trade at 9 or 9 30 and you hit the target on the first trade and you see this market is moving and there is a lot more beef in the market this is a decision you need to make then you can right click and then reset you just say yes and then your auto trade 
start all over again and with the same setting. So it's a very simple way to, to trade uh, with the auto trade. No optimization, no target optimization, no stop loss optimization. You just get it out of the box, put it on, turn it on, run it on a sim until you get used to it and then you decide whenever you feel comfortable to start going live with it. The second trade is again five minutes, three minutes. Let's look at the three minutes. We have the entry at 1030. Beautiful. And now we are still on that trade. And then we have the three range. Even the three range has not closed. And this is a very tight chart. We had a small trade here and then we have an entry. Look, even the three range uh, around 1126, we took that trade and we still uh, climbing on that trade. And then we have the five range also. We are on a 1300 and it is 1149. Now, what is the difference between a swing trading and uh, a scalping? On the swing trading, we are using a market order. And uh, the reason we can use a market order, we can afford one slippage, one ticket slippage. We can afford that. And this is a market order uh, where you can do the swing on, on, a, on a limited order. Also, you have the option, a limited order or a market order. But what you're looking at is a market order. I don't care about this one tick slippage. If we are looking at the sky, also, this is a, a, a Ninja Trader uh, connection on the scalper because they are such a small trades. By the time you have, let's say, if this market going, uh, you get in one tick slippage on the way in plus commission plus on the way out one slippage. A scalper means you are going in on a small trade where the swing trade and you're taking a big trade and you stay with the trend. So on the on the scalper you can you I'm using a limited order. Sometimes you're gonna be missing some of the trades uh, on on a, on a limited order. Those trades you're gonna be missing. They could be good trade or they could be a bad trade. Doesn't matter. But for a scalping, I prefer market order because a scalping requires a little calm movement. It does not need a very fast moving market. To not take any chances, uh, the best offer for you is to use a, a, a limited order, but also you have the, mar uh, the, the option. Uh, you have a three different options. You can use a market order, um, uh, limited order or on the high of the bar, load the bar or on the stop, uh, close the bar. So this is uh, the scalper. Also, we can see the YM did extremely well on the scalping. And we had a really brutal day on the NASDAQ on the A scalper, but doesn't matter. But the rest are doing extremely fine. Also on the B scalper, we nailed. Also on the on the B scalper, we can see the Nasdaq took a little bit, but the YM did extremely well. We had on the YM 2300, on the YM 2500, not much on the on the A scalper, and then we have 3400 on 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 the YM with the A scalper. So if we looking at the bigger picture, we can see the Nasdaq uh, took a beat on on uh, on the A scalper one minute and the the Nasdaq uh, the B scalper 150 takes, but the rest uh, did extremely well. So we cannot blame the auto trade. We can blame the way the market is moving and the name of that strategy you are using because every strategy have different. Um, uh, math and uh, maybe sometimes your math does not match today's trade uh, uh, and that is uh, very normal. So uh, uh, this is all what we have today. So on the swing trading we can use a uh, market order because we can afford that and uh, on the scalper I strongly advise to use a limited order because there are such a small trades in and out. An average on an A scalper or a B scalper is somewhere between 90 to $100. So if we have a slippage, 
in and out plus commission, that is going to take a lot of chunk out of it. Where if we are uh, trading the swing trading and we have sacrificed one extra take for slippage, uh, that it is very affordable because on the swing trading, you're actually not in and out of the market. On the swing trading, uh, we probably, if this market is a chop when we start or if it's a very slow, might take two, three trades until we can catch a trend and then this is a less trade this is a less commission this is a less uh, uh, slippage where on the scalper uh, you are in and out of the market constantly and that if one trade you lost two slippage let's say $24 with let's say all together $30 on the way in and the way out and the commission Let's say we are losing $25 between commission and slippage on, on, on every trade. On 10 trades, this is $250, and that it is a lot of money. Where on, on the swing trading, we can afford that slippage. And that's why you need to uh, figure out which direction you want to take. Um, on the swing trading, you will be taking a lot of trade, uh, a lot of if this market is trending, you will be getting a lot of bread in it. Where, let's say, if this market around the Christmas or around the summer or overnight or around the globex, when the market is a bit slow or a little bit flat, it will be an idea also to scalp. So it is nothing is waste in the market. The more tools you have, the more you are a prepared soldier to the trading because you cannot just say uh, one one stick is gonna fit or one size of shoe is gonna fit everything this is impossible because you have the es is moving differently than the nasdaq and the nasdaq is moving differently than the ym so there is nothing one size is gonna get you so it is very important during the time when you learn what is a scalping and a swing trading by looking at the market in the morning you can identify if you wanted to swing trade this market today or you want to scalp the market and if you don't want to think about it then you're not going to get anywhere in this business because you cannot simply put it all on the auto trade and tell him go ahead and make me money it's not a donkey is going to go get you money we still need to look at this market to to uh, to 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 examine how this market is moving before we decide to invest money in today or not, and that it is very important. A lot of unprofessional traders, amateur trading, they think turn on the auto trade and and this is it. It's not his problem anymore. If this attitude, you're gonna be winding up buying a lot of auto trades and you're not gonna get anywhere. Honest to God, is wasting time. At least we need to uh, to look at the market, and the simplest way to do it is to run the sim for 10, 15 minutes or half an hour to see uh, how this market is running, and then decide it if you wanted to uh, to to trade today or not, or maybe you want to wait another half an hour before you can trade. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. God bless you all, and see you another day. Bye for now.